How's the Grand Kukath from the Predatory Lending Network? Talking to you. Now I'm here with some wizards of the financial markets. Now, I'm here with a wit. She wants to ask us about um, how's the currency trading and currency markets doing for you guys in your kingdom? Well, you know what? At the moment, the British pound is quite strong, and I think the dollar is going to keep going down against the gold currency, which keeps going up. We don't really have much to back the dollar over here, so I really think the dollar is going to be taking a dive straight down. Now, what do you think of quantitative easing and all the stuff that the various uh, governments are doing trying to print more money? I think it's, it's, it's headed for a downfall. I think all that's going to happen is it's going to bust the economy once this money starts floating around the world and they're trying to actually use it. It's not going to be working very well because it doesn't have any strength to it. They're going to stop refusing to accept it. Now, do you think we should possibly go back to a gold standard or something absolutely, like that? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the dollar was strong when we had the gold standard because it's a note. It's a promissory note. You're supposed to be able to turn in that note and get something. Otherwise, paper does grow on trees. So does money. Money grows on trees. Yes, and I agree with that. Can I just say something right here? I just happen to be here and I and I listen to. Oh, I'm sorry, my breath. We're having a good time. It's a good time. And baba boo! If you put that on there, just save that for a little bit. Okay. Avatar is cool. Avatar is cool. I can't get that. Um, so, you're probably one of the most educated ones I had here all night. So, all right. So, now, a lot of people have been moving into the Aussie dollar and stuff like that, you know, because of the strong economy over there and the currency trade with the thing. What do you think of the Aussie dollar? I think if you look at the Australian dollar and if you look at the Brazilian real, these currencies are moving upward with a very strong trend and they're trading higher because they both are rich in commodities. Both of those continents are rich in commodities. And if you take a look at the world market today, it is a commodities driven universe. It's commodities driven. We're still in the Middle East. It's about the oil. It's about that commodity. If we pull out Russia and China will take over that area and take over that commodity and they're not going to allow that to happen. It's a never-ending cycle. Now China's been criticized pretty Now China's been criticized heavily for being a currency manipulator. Do you think China is a currency manipulator? Well, I don't know if manipulation is quite the right word as somebody who knows how to use their financial and military strength. We keep buying from them. They keep taking our money, and all of a sudden all their money is worth much less. I think they have a bit of a right and have something to say about the commodities. What if we all of a sudden start trading in the Chinese yuan? The Chinese president commands great respect in our country, as he did on his last visit here. But to be quite frank, I mean, it's kind of hard to keep accepting a dollar. If you buy $500,000 worth of goods and you pay $500,000, you take the $500,000, you give them half a million dollars worth of goods, but all of a sudden your $500,000 is worth two eighty dollars on the open market. You'd be upset too. Now take that into to the billions and trillions of American dollars that they hold of our ever-sinking paper. Well, it's good. Do you think because uh, the U.S. is always or they're a heavy debt society and China is the largest creditor nation, um, do you think the U.S. is just trying to print money and print their way out of debt? They're trying to print their way out of debt and they're trying to print their way into China. There's two or three of our major banks for the first time have already been given a place in China and they have their main branches there. I mean, Asia is really an up-and-coming market and the United States wants a piece of it. It's clear to see. Now, of all the currencies in the world, which ones do you think are the best to invest in right now? You know, I would, These are I would the definitely. Down here I would definitely sell a dream in motherfucking <laughs> L.A. Hollywood. That's not gonna make it unless they get them an agent like a bitch like me. I'm the hope of L.A. Hollywood Boulevard. My name is motherfucking Monique. <laughs> I'm up on here now. <laughs> <laughs> That's Halloween. Hey, oh, now, happy Halloween, motherfucker. Happy Halloween, Halloween motherfucker. That's uh. it, baby. Peace out. So, uh, Peace out. So, in closing, um, of all the currents. I would look strongly and invest in the Brazilian real, the Australian dollar, based on their commodities. I wouldn't mind sinking about 10% of that investment into the euro dollar.
Uh, now, um, do you think we should put some more into gold and silver, or is there another rare earth metals that we should be looking at? You know, that really depends on what happens with the commodities market, because that's one thing that could topple the metals market a little bit. I think there's going to be a little bit of a top off right now in gold and silver, but I think a silver is a better investment almost than gold because of the semiconductor parts, the computer parts that all require silver, silver cadmium, silver coin. Uh, silver, I think, is a good investment. Your voice sounds so familiar. Are you li do you like do a business show? I've, I've done some copy reading for business markets and commodities markets. Because you sound so familiar, like someone I've seen in, uh, in a British news. Huh? It's possible. I don't have like a reoccurring gig or anything. Oh. But you know, you couldn't see me like on Channel Nine every night at ten o'clock or something like that. No. But I mean, I've done a lot of financial reads and stuff like that. I've learned how to be the gardeners. You know, about. Did six I meet you at an investment conference a, a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, he went to China to try and straighten this whole thing out and tried to tell you know China that they need to think of another way and look at the American market, the American dollar, in a new way. And that really upset China. It's like, no, you need to rethink your economy and handle your business in another way. And it really almost upset the balance. So it was a very delicate, you know, position, but they don't send the Secretary of Treasurer to meet with China over tea. They we, sent Geithner, or who did they send? Timothy Geithner, So yeah. they sent Geithner, okay. Yeah, and we have a huge problem with our economy and our dollar. It's really scary. I mean, just ask some Europeans how they felt when they lost their lira, when they lost the shilling, when they lost their mark, and trade and go, well, you had this much money, now this is what you get in turn for it. And you can't take it out of the bank, and you can't hold on to it because you can't spend it. So do you think the euro dollar will fall apart, you know, due to the troubles in Greece and some of the smaller countries? No, no. No, I, I don't. I think when you set up a new commodity, uh, when you set up a new currency, it's not set up to fail. And if if you would have bought into the euro dollar, what was it, ninety six yeah, uh, or ninety seven, that was being traded like well, is that one seventeen now? What's yeah. that like one forty? Yeah, well, now it's like at one forty six, one forty eight. You would have had fifty percent back on your money even more at one point. So, you know, the dollar has been taking a steady decline over the last two, three decades, ever since the 1970s when it was taken off the gold market, you know, off the gold standard. So it's some problems. You know, I think a lot of people are shaken up, but until it actually hits everybody at home, to where they're saying, okay, we've got your money, we're giving you a new dollar, have at it. Okay, is there any last minute things you'd like to say to our viewers? Take a deep breath, hold on to your britches, because there's so many flying witches! <laughs> so this is Grand Kukat from the Predatory Lending Network talking to you.